Man, Nintendo never ceases to amaze me. This is the Pokemon Mini, the smallest cartridge-based handheld that Nintendo has ever made. It was released in 2001, actually a month before it was released in Japan, which is kind of hard to believe. It's got a 4 megahertz Seiko processor and 4 kilobytes of RAM in this beast. It comes in three different colors, Whooper Blue, Chicory to Green like mine, and Smoochum Purple. This thing is a legit Game Boy. It's equipped with a D-pad, a power Power button, a reset button, B and A, and a C button. This thing is kind of cool, I wasn't expecting to have a little shoulder button like this. When you press it, it kind of feels like the N64 shoulder button. All of the games are housed in this transparent cartridge, and Pokemon Mini meaning Pokemon Mini Games. Here's one sitting next to a DS cartridge. These things are tiny. Pop it into the back like a regular Game Boy cart and it'll snap, letting you know it's in and you're ready to play. So let's get into it. Power on. First game we're gonna be taking a look at is Pokemon Zany Cards, which is a bunch of Pokemon mini card games. Some of them you can play with uh, another person if they have another Pokemon Mini, or you can just play against the CPU like I'm doing. Before the game starts, Jesse and James gives you their prepare for trouble make it double speech, and the cards are dealt. If I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I don't really understand how this game is played. The how-to instructions are extremely vague. I know it has to deal with matching up cards to get points and evolving Pokemon cards based on what your opponent has laid down, but the whole thing feels really automatic. I don't feel like I'm really doing anything. I did, however, find this particular game to be somewhat straining on my eyes. It is a two-inch monochrome LCD screen, so I can't really complain too much. Sometimes you get really cool animations in this game, but for the most part, I, I kind of just skipped it. It has Team Rocket on it, which that's all I really cared about. And I just wanted to show you guys. And the second game that I own, it looks like it got chewed up by a dog and then shat out, is Pokemon Puzzle Collection. And if the title of the game wasn't a big enough hint as to what kind of game this is, it's puzzles. Let's pop that sucker in and get her started. The game starts us off with some awesome chiptune music and three puzzle mini-games. We have Motion Puzzle, Shadow Puzzle, and Rescue Mission. I'm not sure what this one is, but I'm going to start off with Motion Puzzle. The game has five levels, each level containing four puzzles. The first screen of the game starts, and we're greeted with a mutilated polywhirl, which you have to reconstruct in order to complete the level. It moves, it wiggles, it jiggles, it's a motion puzzle. This is really cool. I like this in a mini game. This is the kind of puzzle that I would expect to be on this kind of console. I didn't really find this particular puzzle to be very hard, but it's only the first stage and we still have a lot more puzzles to complete. So once you do that, you can go on to the next puzzle and it gets harder from there. As you can tell, oh, <laughs> I don't think Teddy Ursa is too happy right now. He looks like a David Cronenberg monster, but the Pokemon puzzles that have Pokemon that are darker colored are a little bit easier to put together. You're not really having to find squiggly lines to connect to other squiggly monochrome lines. So yeah, it's easy and doable. Game number two is Shadow Puzzle. This is another puzzle game that is just fantastic. It really gets your mind working. You have to fit a bunch of random shapes into a silhouette of another random shape until they all fit together correctly. It's a classic game. I can't remember what the exact game is called called, but it's fun nonetheless. It just goes to show you that even though game is very simple, it can still be fun. And once you complete the puzzle, you are greeted by the Pokemon that you've created out of shapes. Before we get to the final game, I wanted to show you guys a cool little feature on this thing. It vibrates. It has a little rumble pack inside of it. That's just cool to me. Anyway. And on to our last game, which is Rescue Mission. This is another classic puzzle game with a Pokemon twist to it. Basically, all you have to do is move the blocks in order to move Pikachu to the other side of the screen. I don't know what's down that hole, but Pikachu definitely wants to go down there. And the controls for this are a little convoluted at times, but you get used to it. It's a pretty simple game. If you played this type of game before, again, I don't know what the original puzzle game is called. It's like that, it's fun, it's simple, it gets your mind going. 
Well, that is all of the games, sadly, that I own for this. There are ten games in total. If you can find one of these, I'd highly recommend picking it up. It is so cool, and it's a great piece of nostalgic Nintendo tech. These things are not cheap by any means. They command ridiculous prices online, so I was fortunate enough to have a lovely viewer and friend donate this to me. Thank you so much, Amber. You are a dream. And that's going to be all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, and subscribing to the channel is a thing you can do if you want to see more content like this. I upload every Thursday, so there's always something to watch. Go check me out on Instagram and Facebook, and please share this video and check out some of my other videos. If you like this one, you might like these as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.